Hey guys, it's Katie with SB, and today we're going to install part number 75 5136 on the 2020 Chevy and GMC Duramax 6.6 liter. With the engine turned off and the parking brake engaged, disconnect the negative terminals on the batteries. Push down and pull out on the red locking tab to disconnect the mass airflow sensor harness from the mass airflow sensor. Now you're going to remove this nut that's securing the resonator and the intake tube to the vehicle. Now we're going to loosen the hose clamps that are attaching the intake tube to the airbox and the turbo adapter and then you can remove the intake tube from the vehicle. Next, we're gonna remove this nut that's securing the air box to the fender and we're gonna put it to the side because we're gonna reuse it later. So now you can remove the air box and then when you pull it out, check to see if these grommets came out with it and if they did, you're gonna have to remove them and then put them back in the vehicle. Now you're gonna install the optional silicone box plug, the front inlet seal, the tube seal, and the hood scoop seal onto the s and air box. Now you're gonna install this grommet into the SMB airbox, and then you're gonna install the shoulder washer from the inside. Now we're gonna install the airbox into the vehicle. So you're gonna to wanna to lightly push the front inlet so it's out of the way. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure this threaded stem goes all the way through the shoulder washer and that the box is fully seated in the grommet. Using the nut that you removed earlier, go ahead and reinstall that to secure the air box to the vehicle. Now you're gonna reach into the air box and you're gonna wanna align the stock inlet tube with the new silicone inlet seal. Now you're gonna drop the air filter into the air box, making sure the point is facing towards the back of the engine bay and down. Next, you're gonna prepare the intake tube for installation by installing the coupler and securing it down with one hose clamp. Now we're gonna uninstall the mass airflow sensor from the stock intake and we're gonna install it on your new intake. Install the mass airflow sensor into the intake tube using the provided hardware, the mass gasket and pad. When installing the intake tube into the vehicle, you're gonna install the large end through the tube seal and into the filter flange. This coupler should be facing to the back of the engine bay above the turbo adapter. Once it's secure, you're gonna rotate it, pull the coupler back, slide it over the turbo adapter, and then secure it down with the clamp. Make sure that the end of the filter isn't touching any walls, and then you can tighten down the hose clamp. Remove the protective coating from both sides of the lid, and then install the lid into the lid seal. Snap the lid into the air box. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor harness to the mass airflow sensor and then push in the red locking tab. Now you can reconnect both negative terminals on the batteries. We recommend disabling your air filter life monitor only because it's going to read differently and a manual check is always better. So this is how you do it. With the engine turned on, scroll over to the settings and then to the info page options and make sure that the air filter life is checked. And then back over to the info page and scroll to find it. Once you found air filter life, you can click disable. 